as you may have come to know yesterday around 4.30 uh, in the evening, prisoners at Singular Government Prison broke through the gates of the prison and uh, escaped. At uh, that, around that time, we were called in by Uganda Prison Services and Uganda Police to support them to make sure that these escapees are brought back to prison. Under the command of Brigadier General Joseph Balikudembe, who is the command of our 3rd Infantry Division, swung into action and started the pursuit for these prisoners. These prisoners moved uh, towards Mount Moroto in areas of Tapach, and we were able to deploy both infantry and air power by using two gunships. This operation by yesterday moved on well, and seven of the prisoners were rearrested. However, in this same operation, there was an exchange of fire with some of the prisoners. It was put to our notes that these prisoners had actually broken into the armor and took 15 rifles, that is AK-47. These rifles are not yet recovered, and in that pursuit, they were able to shoot towards us, and we shot towards them, those were exchanging fire. Three of them were gunned down, and in the process, our own infantry soldier was also gunned down. Shall be able to give you the details of this hero as uh, we finish informing the family or the next of kin of this lead soldier who fought actually trying to guard his motherland, trying to fight against injustices, and trying to protect the people of Karamoja. Fifteen of these SMG guns are not yet recovered. However, soldiers continue to pursue the escapees to bring them back to prison and also recover the guns. In the same area, we had an operation pursuing the cattle riders who had stolen some cattle in areas of Kangole and areas of Matani. And we think all these two groups shall be brought uh, uh, to, to, to where they are supposed to be. By yesterday night, it was uh, also detected that these escapees tried to move towards the other side of the border into Kenya. Fortunately, because of our deployments around the borders, they were repulsed by the soldiers who were guarding the borders, as you know. As you know, we deployed against any infiltration in order to avoid COVID people crossing into Uganda. And they did a very great job to make sure that these escapees are pushed back into the interland. Uh, by this afternoon, we detected also movements of these same escapees towards the western side in areas of Napak, uh, towards areas of Katakui. We hope they will not be able to cross before we get in touch with them. We call upon the community to be now vigilant because we've learned that these uh, escapees have removed the prison uniforms and now they fizzle out into the communities, hence becoming a little bit uh, difficult to be pursued as individuals since we will be identifying them. So we call upon now the community to cooperate with the leaders, with the police, with the military to make sure that if they see any alien, anybody who is not of that area or anybody with a weapon to immediately report so that we are able to apprehend him. However, what I would like to put straight is uh, this prison is a government prison and it is general. It does not only accommodate people from Karamoja. It has prisoners from across the country. Some of them could have been soldiers who were tried and committed into a government prison. Most of them, I must say, most of them were warriors who were caught stealing gun, uh, stealing cows using guns, and they were sentenced and imprisoned in this prison. He had 219 prisoners who, uh, who escaped. We believe some could be up in the mountains. We are still combing this uh, mountain, especially the slopes of Tapach and uh, the entire Mount Moroto. But we also have information of a good number of them trying to circumvent around the hill and moving towards Napaka, which is down slopes, which is off the mountain. So we don't think they can survive first of all in those mountains. There is no food. And uh, the environment there is very hostile for anybody to stay for more than two days.